What I discovered when I started to experience dishrooms myself was a universal problem. It didn't matter if you were the French laundry or a cafeteria in a hospital or Chili's, everyone was having a hard time hiring dishwashers. A dish will come back to a dish room, either from a busser or from a diner. They will drop the dishes into our dish drop. Those will get organized into a cart, hold 50, 90 dishes at a time. The staff will move that cart into the robot and the robot now has minutes worth of dishes to, to process. It'll identify each dish, isolate each dish, clean each dish with very little water using the scrubbing action. We'll inspect each dish using machine learning. If it passes, we then rack it. Once a rack is full, that rack will be ejected and passed through to a sanitizing machine. A typical operation today using people has to replace about 7% of their wares every year. We've run our robot day after day, shift over shift, and haven't had any breakage for months. The industry is very wide and the need for this problem is universal. And so while we are starting with high volume cafeterias that serve 500 or more diners, ultimately we intend to address the entire market. We will create a much, much better environment for everyone involved by taking the dirtiest work, most repetitive work, taking that off the table and allowing them, the dishwashers, to do more meaningful work. This person is now interacting more with people, they're managing a process, they're making sure the robot is running well, and they are making sure that the job gets done, but without having to do the work themselves. Robots do not call off, robots don't take breaks, robots don't take vacations. 